What is up everybody welcome back to the 8th episode of editing weekends in this video we are talking about how to make a retro look in your photos and how to create that retro look a preset okay so let's start first you have to go to the exposure and just increase a little bit and then go to the contrast there you have to decrease the contrast and decrease the highlight to the end uh, at least minus 100 and then you have to increase the shadow by 22 जो भी ये मैं सेटिंग्स बता रहा हूँ ये आपकी फोटो के रिगार्डिंग हो सकती हैं बस ये ध्यान में रखना कि मैंने कित कितनी की है और उसी के हिसाब से आपको इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज करनी है नाउ वी विल गो टू दी कलर सेक्शन देयर आई इंक्रीज द वाइब्रेंस एंड इंक्रीज द टेंट एंड इंक्रीज द सेचुरेशन बाई थर्टी एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल गो टू द मिक्स सेक्शन देर आई डिक्रीज द ह्यू ऑफ दिस कलर एंड आई डिक्रीज द ह्यू ऑफ sky color and increase and decrease the blue hue and increase the saturation okay after that what i do is i'll go to the uh, the violet after that i'll click on done and that's it for the color section and we will go to the effect section now now we have to increase the text a little bit so it looks a little bit of old and we will increase the clarity as well and then the haze don't do dehaze much so it will make your photos look bad now after vignette we go to the light section there you find this curve now we have to make a s curve but this time it's c dot s curve okay now make that s curve just like this okay so it will give us that faded look in our photo which will present in most of the retro looks now what do we have to do click on done and then that's it for the light section also now go to effect section we have to go to the effect section and there you can see split tone okay now what we have to do we have to do is just make hue 44 and saturation 9 and this one for the shadows we have to make it 333 okay and saturation around 10 9 it it will be adjustable with your image just like this okay and I think this is perfect and uh, now I'll do some balancing okay that's good now click on done and this is before and this is after as you can see we got that that so look now what we have to do we make a preset create preset and give it a name like that so let me do that so one okay now click on okay now click done and this is another photo which we have to edit so we just do go to the preset and there find our main preset this is the retro one and just click on this and our feed photo is now complete okay so this is how simple you make a preset and apply on another photos now go to another photo to look this photo and go to the retro preset so as i paste it click on ok so that's for it and this is another example so at last that's it for this video if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well and goodbye